Hey guys, it's Meg. I am here this week with a video for my Sun Tier members. Uh, thank you so much for being here and supporting me at this level. I appreciate you very much, and this video is for you. Um, just a, a couple of quick announcements before I get into the reading. Um, if you would like to join me over on my YouTube channel, I'd be very happy to have you. Um, of course, that's um, where this video is linked up from. But um, if you are interested in seeing more videos like this from me, um, please come on over. Um, if you like what you see on that channel, please go ahead and click the like, subscribe, and bell buttons and all of that jazz. Um, there's more information there for you if you uh, if you're interested in seeing more. Um, I have included links to my the, uh, my other social media, um, but I've also listed the decks I'm using for this reading as well as uh, a timestamp because there is a bonus reading attached with this video. So I'm excited to see uh, what else the cards may have in store for us. Um, so yeah, um, if this is your first time getting a reading with me, um, what I'm going to do is start by reading our, our oracle, some oracle cards. Um, I'm doing this to get a baseline energy for you guys, and then I will be uh, getting into the tarot um, as a way of supplementing what we're seeing from our oracle energy so you'll you'll see me go through the process with you um, just hang tight and hopefully uh, hopefully something resonates with you in this reading okay cool cool so let's get started and see what we need to see okay so here we go Okay. Right. Okay. So to get ourselves started with our oracle reading. Okay, we have the Pleiades. Um, this represents a dub double mission, um, channeling and uplifting humanity. Okay. All right. We have Isra. Um, this represents escape, dreams, and fantasy. Okay. Um, we also have Phenocyte. Um, this is light of the soul. Okay. All right. And we have education. Okay. All right. So, uh, right off the bat, what I'm, what I'm, res what I'm finding, I'm resonating very strongly with this, and maybe you can relate here, is um, the idea of using. Um, our dreams and our passions as a means of uh, working to uplift ourselves and those around us. Um, yeah, well, it, uplifting ourselves and those around us. And um, it, because we've been called to do that, there is, um, there's something that we can't ignore anymore um, there's something in our space that we can't ignore um, and it, it seems that we've been we've been feeling it we've been seeing it we've been trying to figure out um, what it is uh, another thing that my personal readings have been showing me lately is that there is uh, a time of coming out of the darkness 
and I think the uh, the white that we that has been uh, the light that has been shining for a while is now finally penetrating into that darkness. So um, again, we're being called to a mission um, that is going to again be uplifting for us and the people around us. Um, but in order to really do that work, in order to really get into what it is we need to know, we're going to have to do some learning. We're going to have to do some research and some finding out about things. Um, what is it that we, um, what is it that we truly need to move forward, right? Um, and that's where, um, Mm, I'm hearing the phrase, um, teach and be taught, okay? So we're going on this mission, we're taking our dreams and what lights are, what's lighting our soul, and we're using that as a means of being uplifted and uplifting other people, um, and I think in doing so, we may, um, we may find that we're allowing ourselves to, um, teach other people how and what we're about, but also learn about others' missions as well. Okay. All right. So there's our, there's our Oracle energy. We're going to get into the tarot and see um, how we can supplement this, what else we need to know. Um, certainly how we can, um, how we can how we can best do this work right now okay so let's start with the moon okay interesting that we're getting another card that can represent dreaming and creativity um but also on the flip side of that there's some fear certainly some fear because it is dark and we don't know what is going to come. Um, that may be the case and certainly that's okay. Um, it's okay. Don't deny yourself uh, the right to feel afraid. Again, it's, it feels like this is a bit dark right now. Here's the thing. Here's what you need to remember. Okay. Here's what you need to remember. There is a lot of light still around you, even if it's not coming from an external source. Your light, the thing that's putting, uh, making your path a little bit more clear, is coming from from within you. Okay, I'm getting here because we have a light, um, a light motif here. Um, we have it explicitly stated here. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go as far as pulling a light motif out of this Pleiades card. Okay. Um, so again, um, we have um, we have this dark feeling energy. Um, I don't want to say it's it's an mm, it it may seem darker than it actually is. Okay, and, and again, um, you have light coming from an internal source rather than from out here. Okay. Um, so, yeah, there's the moon. Okay. We have uh, the six of swords. So there will be some changes that need to be made uh, in terms of... Um, yeah, changes need to be made in terms of um, getting yourself to a place where you can reliably do this work, where you can um, reliably do this work, but also safely do this work, um, because this may require um, this may require some sacrifices, some things that you may have to give up and let go of. Um, and um, again, the thing that you need to remember here is that you're not doing this by yourself. Um, you will find a place to anchor yourself to. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there it goes. Um, but there is an anchor here. Um, you may find 
that you have to pull up what you were rooted to. Um, but that's not a bad thing because you're going to be finding you're going to be finding a new place to do that with. Okay. Now, um, I do like that I mentioned rooting and anchoring here um, because we also have the Ten of Pentacles. And um, this is, uh, I do feel this may be a reward um, for doing this work um, because to me this indicates a lot of abundance. Um, a lot of growth has happened, a lot of change. And um, by working to develop, um, develop, uh, developing your mission statement on this. Remember that we have um, the Pleiades card, which is suggesting, which is suggesting um, the mission of uplifting and um, uplifting, channeling. Um, I think what this is saying is that you're you're working on developing your mission statement and moving towards being able to enact that. Um, and once we get there, um, I do think there'll be a lot of clarity, a lot of um, a lot of abundance for you to take to take advantage of um, because you realize those things are going to help you serve your mission, okay? Um, and I, I do hope what I just said makes sense. Um, but ultimately, you'll be able to take care of yourself go, while you're going through this, as well as um, as well as having plenty more besides that to take care of everybody else. All right. I, what I mean by that is ultimately you'll have um, you won't be in lack. Um, and again, remember I said that we may have to. Um, give up or move away from things that aren't serving you, um, you won't, again, you won't be in a lack while you're going through this change, okay? So let's see, okay, hidden energy, um, yeah, here's some heartache, here's some pain, this could be, uh, this could be things that you've experienced from your past, and it is certainly um, certainly painful. Um, it's put you in some. It's yeah. It's put you in some stress and some things that aren't um, that aren't that haven't been safe for you emotionally. Um, but this is something that uh, I think you're moving. You're trying to move away from. Okay. So there is your hidden energy. All right. Clarifying energy is the two of wands. So ultimately, um, in spite of the fear, in spite of the, the change, um, and in spite of the pain these things may cause, um, the world is still right in your hands. The world is still at your fingertips. And I do think um, it's up to you to find out what that's going to mean yeah, it's up to you to find out what that's going to mean for you, okay? Um, and it's up to you whether you stay in your comfort zone or you go. Um, ultimately, um, I think you might be leaning towards uh, moving, moving forward and, and leaving your zone of comfort. But again, that is your choice, and you are not bound in by anything I'm saying in this reading. So, um, if you if you do decide to stay uh, within your zone of comfort, it's it's totally okay. Um, that is that is that it's ultimately your choice, is what I'm trying to say, and there is no shame for making that. Okay, so. Let's see. All right, let's see. Um, some clarifying energy for each of our cards here. We're going to start with the moon. So, um, okay, we're seeing the nine of earth to start clarifying the moon here. So, um, 
it's it's time to give yourself a chance to to take a break to enjoy yourself to um to really celebrate the efforts that you put in because they're now starting to pay off um and i i think uh, especially with all of this work it's come with a lot of risk because you haven't been very you haven't been totally clear on how the process has is going to work or has been working for you and you kind of had to feel out certain things and um it's felt strange it's felt very strange but remember i said that we have a lot of internal light coming out for yeah a lot of a lot of internal light coming out during this time because again how you're going to manifest or do the do your um do what you're setting yourself up to do hasn't been clear but it's um yeah it, it's come it's come from a lot of light okay um, and you know that you have to do it because you're heating a call now that you put in the effort to try and figure part of it out it's like okay i'm comfortable enough in moving forward this way so let me just give myself a rest and we'll see what goes down. Um, but also you've worked on striking a balance between feeling afraid and feeling bold. Okay. Um, yeah, stri striking a balance between feeling emboldened and feeling afraid um, because ultimately, um, Ultimately, you've done the work of uh, of balancing your karma, and in doing so, you know you've you've come to a place where you can answer for behaviors that you've taken that haven't been totally wholesome. Um, haven't been totally wholesome. Haven't actually served you or the people you're trying to help. Okay, um, and that's where you've. Yeah, that's where you've you've taken a pause to reflect, and now that now you're um, now you're seeing now you can answer for past behaviors, whether they be good or bad. Okay, so there is justice, hence our clarifying energy for the moon. Um, let's see some clarifying energy for our six of swords, please. What do we need to see for our Six of Swords? Okay, we're going to start with the Nine of Water. So the nice thing here is that we're experiencing an emotional overflow. Okay, we're experiencing a great deal of, um, great deal of peace, a great deal of well-being. Okay, and this is very... Um, this is very nice to see because I think um, we've had to really work on um, on feeling okay with not being totally comfortable. Like, okay, and what I mean by that is that um, tomorrow everything could be gone. Tomorrow everything could change. But in the moment, and yeah, being in the present moment, you're you're likely feeling like okay. I have clothes on my back. I have food in my belly. I'm deeply, deeply grateful to be um, to be present with myself in this moment. And in doing that, you're you're at peace, and you're experiencing um, experiencing some emotional well being, even though it's possible that things could look different tomorrow. Okay, um, so there's the nine of water, um, and clarifying, mm -hmm. also clarifying the six of swords is that we have the magician coming out as well. So the beautiful part, the really beautiful part is that yes, we're at peace. Yes, we're, um, we're feeling good about where we are for the most part. Um, but we also know and understand uh, the capabilities we already carry um we know and understand that we have 
magic at our at our fingertips and and we know how to use it we know how to make it work for us rather than against us okay um and i say it like that because we're moving away from being resistant um, and resistant to change is what i what i'm implying here um excuse me <coughs> Um, but ultimately, um, yeah, ultimately there's, uh, there's an energy of, of us that there's an energy around us that says, yes, you are capable, um, and you're ready to move forward. Okay. So let's clarify our 10 of pentacles. Okay. What do we need to see for a 10 of pentacles? All right. Okay, Ten of Pentacles is starting to be clarified by the Ten of Water. So again, with the emotional overflow, again, I'm here. What's absolutely gorgeous and why, why I'm very happy to have gotten the Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles here is that we have worked so very hard to build a happy, stable home to be in a place where we can take care of ourselves, take care of everybody else. Um, we've built this foundation. We have plenty. We have enough to get by. Um, but we also have, uh, again, a lot of emotional stability and peace and happiness. And we have worked so hard to find what it is, um, to find what it is that we have been, been needing in our spaces. Okay. Um, and if i I'm hearing, uh, the goal is finally achieved. Okay. So give yourself a chance to celebrate it and be at peace with it. Okay. So there's a ton of water. Um, but we're also getting the tower with it. So, you know, again, with the possibility of change. I'm going to read this kind of in past tense here um, because we've come through a lot. Okay. We've come through a lot. And I, I do feel this is going to segue into the Three of Swords here. Um, but we'll get to this in a minute. Um, we've come through a lot of change. We've come through a lot of um, what has a lot of things that have felt sudden and catastrophic, right? Um, and it might not be necessarily as true um, for us because you know our brains are tricksy little uh, hobbits hiding out in our in our skulls here, and it, it the way we perceive things might not be true to actual reality. Totally fair. That's okay. Um, we're only human. We're not perfect. We're not robots. We're not programmable in the way that a, a computer is. And I'm saying that because I'm talking at my computer and I'm talking to you guys as well. Um, but our, you know, the way we go through things colors our perception, colors our reality. The way we're seeing this, the same situation might be totally different, right? Um, and that's, that's where our tower comes in because what we've experienced has helped us grow and change and um, we've learned what we needed to learn to get here to our Ten of Cups and our Ten of Pentacles. You can't even see that so let me do that better there we go we've come from here to get to here okay all right so there is the tower now let's segue into our three of swords here okay so what do we need to see about our three of swords please Three of Swords. Okay. Three of Swords, please. 
Okay, first things first, um, we're getting the Queen of Water, um, or the Queen of Cups in this case. So, um, what's interesting here is that we've you've really gotten in touch with how you feel over this situation, especially um, because some of the negativity and the sadness and the uh, the things that haven't worked, the, the things that didn't work, the disappointments that have come up for us have, have really shown us what we're about, you know, how, how we make, uh, how we make things happen in our physical reality. Um, but how we feel about ourselves in terms of our emotional stability as well. Okay. Um, I'm getting here because the queen of generally, um, I would interpret the queen of water, the queen of cups as someone who is deeply and profoundly emotional, um, and who knows how to nurture what they feel. Okay. Um, and this is the disappointments in our situation that have led us up to our Ten of Cups or Ten of Water. Um, all of those things have taught us how we truly feel and how to channel those, uh, how to channel those emotions. So we can actually, um, so we can actually get to uh, get to doing what we're put here for, right? So there is the Queen of Water. I knew this card was going to come up. We have the Fool, um, and I'm getting excited because we do have the Magician. And when I was describing that, I kind of had the the side thought that wouldn't it be funny if we got the Fool card? Here we go. Um, there is a new, uh, there's a new life, a new energy, a new sense of peace and hope and love coming through. And, uh, you know, it's perfect. It's perfect to see this because, you know, we don't, this for me, I don't want to stay in a place where I'm miserable forever because that's not fun. Um, I think with this, um, there's, there's been a lot of stress. There's been a lot of, um, there's been a lot to look at. Okay. And now that we've done that looking, um, we're transitioning, we're moving away, we're pulling up our anchors and going for the horizon. And it's, um, it's come from a space of spontaneity. Um, spontaneity and perhaps sudden understanding that we actually have what it takes to do that. Okay. All right. So there is the fool. Okay. There is the fool. And finally, let's clarify our two of wands. Why are we seeing our two of wands, please? Okay, two of wands is being clarified by the five of fire. So there will be some some drama, some conflict. Um, there is going to be some some people who try to put up a barrier and try and hold you back. Um, and I do think, you know, I do think that can come up with anything, um, but specifically with this, um, it feels like, um, it feels like there's going to be, um, there's going to be a lot of stress because I do think you're, you're choosing to you're choosing to move forward, but there there may be people who don't like that, who again want to put up barriers in front of you, and um, that could be that could be what what is actually happening. There are people who don't like the fact that you're moving on. Um, this could be an internal fear that you have because you don't want to face the drama. Um, it's the drama that that, that you're. Uh, 
uh, your transition may be bringing up. Um, but either way, the sense of this is that um, I'm getting the sense that you that you do want to move forward with this anyway. Okay. Um, and that is in spite of the conflict and in spite of the drama. Another thing here, um, remember that we have the magician, we have the fool, you have the capability of moving forward in spite of the stress, the nerves, the pain, um, whatever you're going through in order, in order to really make this choice happen for you, okay? There's the two of wands. Um, we're starting to be clarified by the five of fire, or the five of wands. Okay, but we also have the page of water. So in all of this, in all of this nervousness, and all of this stress, um, the likelihood of you finding what finding what makes you emotional and finding what what in this makes you emotional and what in this is making you um, less comfortable. That's something you're still working on because yes, you have, um, you do have a working knowledge of your emotions and what strikes them. Um, you're still learning. You know, it's always a learning process and you're not, um, no one can go through this life feeling like they already know everything because in truth, nobody knows everything about everything. Um, and that's something, um, that's something you're still here. Um, to say <laughs> nobody knows everything about everything, um, while you do have an understanding of, of your triggers, there's always more to learn about them, okay? Um, and I hope that makes sense. Um, but we're going to move on to finding out what else we need to see. Yeah, I'm finding out what, what else we need to see. And then, uh, you know, we do have that bonus reading coming up too. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited to share that with you. So, let's see what else we need to see about this particular energy here. Okay, first, yeah, first card, um, first card from this deck we have is the Eight of Cups. So, there, there has been disappointments. Again, we're moving on. We're moving on. Okay, um, there are, that, yeah, that is eight of cups, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, I had to check that. Um, we are moving on. Um, there's a, there's something better for us um, than where we are, and that's, that's part of what I think we're feeling right now is this intuitively, intuitively, we know there's something else for us. Intuitively, we have, um, we have a mission that we're trying to fulfill, even if we don't know what that is just yet, even if it's not um, not totally clear, um, we're still aware that something is coming for us, okay? And yeah, it's there. It's definitely there. We just have to go, we just have to start making our way towards it, okay? Um we also, again, okay, we have the three of swords coming back out. This is moving away from the hurt that we've been dealt, okay? Um, and this is also probably a reminder that we don't have to hold on to this because, yes, it happened. Um, we need to acknowledge that it happened. But, again, we don't have to hold on to it, okay? So there's the three of swords. Okay, um, we're also getting the high priestess. And so again, part of this, part of this transition and part of this movement forward is um, making sure that we're taking time to 
be present with our spirit, be present with ourselves, be present with um, how we're feeling, what we're um, what we're doing to nurture ourselves and to learn from what we're feeling. Um, and all of that takes reflection, and uh, yeah, it takes reflection and really getting deep with how we feel. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Uh, let's see some hidden and clarifying energy for this. What is our hidden energy, please? Okay. Okay. So we're hidden. Mm, cool. So we're hidden energy here is the Ace of Coins. So there's a new opportunity for um, for growth in particular and in, in, in our material abundances, but also um, we have the chance to plant the seeds of something new. Okay. Um, we're in we're in a spot where we have what it takes. We already know we already know that we're abundant enough already to share what we have. Um, and because we're on a mission of uplifting and and um, yeah, because we're on an, we're on a mission to uplift and to channel humanity and that energy here. Um, the opportunity is the opportunity is there, and we have what it takes to make it happen for us. Okay, so um, so yeah, there is the Ace of Coins, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, all right, and we also have the Six of Coins. There's a lot of of giving and loving, nurturing energy here. Okay. Um, so if that was, um, so if the Ace of Coins was our hidden energy, our clarifying energy is that we want to be in a place where we can give and receive in equal measure. Okay, um, and we've worked, we've worked so hard to move away from the disappointment and uh, the hurts. We've discovered there's a new horizon waiting for us to catch it, if you know. And we've had to do that um, by going deep and being reflective with what we what we know we need to do. Okay. We've only discovered the fact that this mission exists for us because we've been in deep reflection. Okay. And this is um this is part of our ultimate goal. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. So there is the six of coins. Okay. All right. Finally, let's get a final portion of this message. Um, what else do we need to see? What else do we need to know? Let's see. Okay. Let's see what else we need to see here. All right. What else do we need to see? Okay. Well, that was easy. I had, I had um, five cards basically pop right out of the deck, so... This should be a this should be an interesting reading here. So, okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles coming out here. So, first things first here. Um, part of yeah, part of this uh, part of this mission, part of this effort is going to require slow and measured action. Um, this is going to um, this effort is going to need to be taken slowly, okay? Um, because I don't think I don't think rushing ourselves or anybody else is going to be helpful, and it certainly isn't going to be an easy thing to go through quickly. Um, 
and again because again because things are going things are going to move slow and i think they should move slow because um there's a lot of deep emotional uh um, there's a lot of deeply emotional uh triggers that could come up okay so there is the knight of pentacles okay we also have okay again the nine of cups is coming out here i believe this is a repeat card so again there is a lot of emotional overflow but I'm feeling um, that this is on the side of positivity rather than uh, rather than being fearful or negative. Um, again, there's a lot to suggest that we've really worked hard to be at peace. Okay, uh, and that's why I'm saying um, that this Nine of Cups energy is more positive in terms of what we're feeling. Okay, but there is the Nine of Cups. All right and we also have the page of wands and so you know we're we're feeling a lot and um again there's some things that we are learning how to safely channel specifically um specifically um in understanding how intensely how intensely emotional we are feeling what Okay, let me try that again. Um, we're feeling our emotions um, and we're working on understanding the intensity of them. So we're feeling like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm feeling fine or oh yeah, I'm feeling great. This is great. But like, there's a difference. I, th I feel like there's a difference between being um, superficial in how we're feeling and really going deep and understanding it. Um, which is why I say um, what we're feeling and how intensely we're feeling it, right? Um, that's what we're learning to understand and, and channel right now, okay? So there is the page of wands. Alrighty. Now, for our hidden energy here, again, we have the high priestess. So never forget to take time out and pause, pause and reflect, okay, um, because you will learn a lot of lessons just by, you'll learn a lot of lessons just by following your intuition, okay, um, and the, the only really good way of doing that is to, is to pause, okay, take a pause, take a break get uh, get deep with your heart um so you can understand yeah get deep with your your heart and mind so you can understand um what it is that you truly feel okay so there is the high priestess okay Ooh, beautiful we also have the emperor coming out as well um I think in, in terms of finality, um, there will be a lot that comes to making sense, okay? Um, it's gonna take some work to get there. It's gonna take, um, it's gonna take some more effort, but you've already put in so much work. You've already developed your capabilities. You already developed your understanding of who you are and how you need to process things. Um, but eventually, eventually you are going to, um, you're going to have authority and understanding of your situation. And um, I think, I think this is, this is where, um, this is where your goal is going to end up for the time being. Okay. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, so that's the emperor. Okay, I'm going to call it quits for this portion of the reading and we will go into our bonus reading. So let's do that now. Um, to start, we will look at our bonus oracle 
and we have mirror. Um, this is asking who or what is triggering us. Okay. We also have Regina. This is representing instigation, leadership, provocation, and power. Okay. We also have the ancient Chi Tibetan copper. Um, this is calling us to activate strength and life force. Okay. All right. And we have a card for protecting treasure. So what's interesting to me here is that um, there's something here that is, uh, there's something here that's suggesting uh, a lot of uh, energy. Like there's something here that's firing me up and I'm feeling really strongly about it. And it's to the point that something aggressive there's something aggressive here um and i don't think i'm getting to that because we have this, this instigation this this provocation card like there's something there's something um aggressive but there's something here that is um that is triggering the fight me fight me feelings about this um that's interesting here um it's interesting because we're being asked to look at what this trigger is and i think um, in part we already have an answer here because what is it that we are protecting okay what is it that we're being sort of yeah, what is it that we're protecting? Okay. So, excuse me. Let's get into let's get into our tarot and see how, if it answers your question, if it supplements the question, um, because maybe this is something you reflect on. Um, but let's let's see what it is that we can use to understand our oracle energy here. Okay, um, so we have the King of Cups. I'll tell you what, let me let me read all of the cards at once and we'll tell the story from there. So we have the King of Cups. Okay, we have the Eight of Water. Okay, interesting that we have two cups here. Um, we also have Fortitude. Hmm, interesting that we have a card that already suggests strength. Um, but we also have the Seven of Wands. Okay, there's some conflict here that we're facing. And I think in particular, because we're being asked what we're protecting, we're protecting ourselves from the pain of this conflict. Okay, um, we're protecting ourselves from the pain of this conflict because we've had it happen to us before. Okay, there's something in it that has triggered uh, that has triggered some emotions that I think where I think in the past we've been reactive to instead of instead of analytical of. Um, and, you know, we've really had to work hard to gain some mastery over that emotion because this conflict and this disappointment has really tested us, has really made us feel garbage. Like that's, it's really made us feel like garbage and, and it's, it's tested us enough that we, I think we've lost a lot of our self-esteem or what we, we perceive that we've lost a lot of our self-esteem and self-understanding and, and, you know, the world around us doesn't look the same after this conflict. Um, and I'll tell you what, that's certainly a relatable thing to me here. Um, but again, this reading isn't about me. This is for you guys. Um, we've had to tap into our courage and our inner, our inner lion heart. Okay. Um, because in order to face this conflict, it's been brutal and it's been scary and sad. Okay. Um, 
but, and also part of this is leaving, uh, leaving it behind, learning to cut the emotional cord from it and, um, and not hold on to it. But I, I think the con again, going back to the conflict aspect, that's been the strongest aspect that has come through with this and it's made letting go very difficult but you've had to and it's um it's required a lot of strength to figure out where you need to cut it cut this cord okay and um you've had to do that by really uh, looking at your emotions and not being overwhelmed okay again all of that's easier said than done. I will be the first to acknowledge that because I can think of a situation where that sense of conflict and pain has happened to me. Um, but it took a lot of healing and it took a lot of time um, to let go. So, again, um, I, I do hope this helps. Um, this is for you when you're meant to find it. And if you do find it, I hope it resonates. Um, again, thank you for your support. Um, please come and visit me on my YouTube channel if you would like to see more like this from me. Um, and again, thank you for your support. So I will, uh, I will call this reading quits for now. But until then, stay safe. I love you and I will see you very soon. Bye everybody.